two, one. Welcome to Vex Uncensored with me, Saint. And Mimo Vader. And we're back for another show. Yes. Kind of tired in a way. <laughs> <clears throat> By the way, guys, our studio sessions are like from midnight to <laughs> 10 in the morning sometimes, so. It, it really is the graveyard shift. Yeah. Get us out of here. Gonna jump, gonna jump in. Um, At the twilight zone. In the twilight zone. Right, yes. right up there in the shit. Harry Belafonte is the king of Calypso. He died, I think, yesterday. Today. Yeah, civil rights activists and stuff. So. He did a lot of good work, Mr. Harry Belafonte. I thought he was yeah. a more than the forever. But <laughs> <laughs> no such thing. Wow. 96. Hmm. I think he might have beat the queen. Yeah, maybe she might have been the same age. If, if not the exact, if not the exact same age. Mm. Yeah, ninety-six years old. Okay. Condolences to friends and families of people affected. Um, have you ever seen The Wrong Missy on Netflix? This is Netflix. Boycott is still going strong. <laughs> <laughs> the old personal vendetta. Yep. Right. David Spade. Oh, I know who he is, yeah. You remember him, right? Mm-hmm. Now, envision and think in your mind what David Spade looks like. The one with weird looking. Yeah. He looks like the predator that hangs around the playground. <laughs> he has no kids. Okay. I'm now going to show you David Spade. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to it? What happened? I would envision him as NCIS, David Spade. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah That's yeah, the yeah. imprints in our head, but yeah. everything around us is getting old. I know. Except for us. Except for us. <laughs> yes, next topic is Charles' coronation is coming up. Oh, is it? So it means nightmare for us Londoners. And, uh, another bank holiday. And another bank holiday. So we'll have a bank holiday every Monday. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> it's just, they've just been adding on bank holidays. Not that I'm like, no one's complaining. But yeah, it's May 6th, so how long's that way? Not long, two weeks. Three weeks. It's May the 6th. It's May the 6th, so mm-hmm. the 1st of May is a, is a bank holiday. Then... I think the 6th is a Saturday. Then the Monday following would probably be a bank holiday. So that's going to be two. So it's like a... A long weekend? Yeah, a long weekend. What's what's May the 5th here? Or is that just the Star Wars thing? <laughs> what's the Star Wars thing? You know that? Oh Star no, Wars May, May 4th. Oh, right. May 4th is the Star Wars one. May the 4th, you know. Oh, May the 4th would be with you. Yeah, May Smart. the 4th be with you. Um... Is the 5th of May 2023 a bank holiday? There will be three bank holidays in May 2023. <laughs> Early May bank holiday on the 1st of May. Yeah. Bank holiday for the coronation of King Charles III on the 8th of May. Mm-hmm. Spring bank holiday on 29th of May. So, it's basically a pretty fucked up month. Yeah. For any kind of any kind of you know corporations corporate industries yada 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 yeah with the bankers around as well well that's if that's if um your double bubble is even honored where you're working because it might not it might not be the case um but yeah it's going to be a spectacle um i think they've got a concert <laughs> it's, it's spectacle yeah. kate is coming out to play she kate she's married to a great industry all under me I didn't, I didn't even know she was married. Yeah. I don't. I saw him on something the other day and I was like, fucking hell, you've aged. <laughs> <laughs> so, for shit, all I remember last seeing him in was Lord of the Rings. That was a long time ago. What, is it Elijah Wood? No, Orlando Bloom. Can Orlando Bloom? She's married to Orlando Bloom? Yeah. For a couple of years. I don't know. <laughs> I'll tell you what, call me ignorant. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I had it in my mind that Orlando Bloom and um, 
Jasper from Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah, yeah, Jack Sparrow. Yeah. I thought they were the same person. Same shit. But yes, yeah, so stay out of Westminster <laughs> <laughs> that weekend if you not, don't want to be stampeded or traffic or some shit. Mind you, you'd have to extend that to at least at least London Bridge, oh, Suffolk. I'd say the the week before and the week of there'll be people flying in all around the world yeah, for this. True. It's the only coronation it's... anyone's going to see, British wise. So. Oh, yeah. Most popular monarchy in the world. The whole, it's the whole thing. King and country, queen and country. Yes. God save the king. That have only known Queen Elizabeth II's yeah. reign. I don't see, I don't see the the British public or Parliament mm. voting for any kind of abolition. Uh, probably the king <laughs> oh, here we go again. Hmm. Alec. So, for the millionth time, Alec Baldwin back in the in the Rust film. Huh? Oh, okay. It's it's good news actually. It's good news. Alec Baldwin is back on the Rust on the Rust film. So. These are our top contenders for celebrity rapists. Is um. Murder, yeah. He's back. He's back in full swing, right? And he's mm. he's gonna get all the action this season. This um. Probably back on that set. Set out of court or just drop him. Uh, Outright drop them. This is not in public yeah. interest. No, and then he's back on the same film set that he killed his woman on. Her name's Helena Hutchins. Or Hutchins, one of the two. Oh, condolences to our friends and family. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, I mean, how the defence attorneys dropped the charges? They're like, what the fuck? That's the family's fault. You should have fought more or whatever. Because that's honestly ridiculous. And that whole film set, like, how do they have the budget to continue filming when that budget should be in the pockets of the family? <laughs> like, real. Shocks the fuck out of me. Wow. How is it, though? In other walks of life, one slight PC slip up and you're cancelled, but in Hollywood, you're not. Well, that's the thing, like, he weren't even cancelled because it weren't, he weren't even cancelled due to people's opinions. He was cancelled. People were up in arms because he killed someone. Um, so it's kind of like, well, we know he's killed someone, so he just needs to be dealt with now. But no consequences, so there you go. Okay. Bit of publicity, the film come out, it'll make millions. Nothing. The old Scott Free. Yep. You know, powerful people in high places. Yeah. Okay. So the next topic is Cardi B wants to seize Tasha K's property. Well, wow. <laughs> shouldn't have been talking shit. Shouldn't <laughs> <laughs> have been talking shit and then continued to, to say yeah. the same things as well. The power of the power of allegedly yes is the difference between paying a motherfucker some money yeah. and it simply being alleged that so you say alleged or no for, 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 like, for the facts yeah if you were there you don't have to say alleged or well, if you know for a story you don't have to say that shit but you can just for the sake of it it's just a word <laughs> <laughs> honestly allegedly allegedly to stay on the safe side of life stick to allegedly because Anything else is <laughs> Oh, Cardi B's gonna She's already ruined her financially no. Now you're gonna make the bitch homeless Like, what about her husband? What about her kid? She don't know that woman <laughs> She don't know that woman Well, it's, it's true Plays you know. play stupid games and win Cardi's stupid prizes Cardi's got lawyer fees and shit to pay So she needs that money I don't, I wouldn't even okay. pay that shit out of my own pocket either. I don't even blame Cardi. That's coming straight from your pocket, bitch. Not mine. I'm not even going to cover it until the money comes in. You for it. <laughs> <Straight> <laughs> up. 
that's what all the lawyers will be saying too. So you pay me now, pay me money. <laughs> Remember when they said Tasha K uh, fled yeah. to Africa and it was a lie, I believe. Oh, uh, was it? I believe she's like. She was trying to do low key something. She's pretending, like wearing fucking yarmulkes and pretending she's in the fucking. <laughs> she's sitting in her kitchen in her lala and oh, she's okay. pretending she's in like Ethiopia or some shit. She's fucking insane. <laughs> she's twisted. I mean, she literally gets drunk every night and goes on YouTube stream, live stream. Like, ah, like some pissed head or Simpsons. Everyone wants it. Like, that's actually popular. So Tash, Tashke's decline is unfortunately being triggered by mm. her alleged rumours, <laughs> <laughs> and because her brand is unwind with Tasha K, it's enabled. Oh yeah, yeah, we yeah, love drunk yeah. Tasha. She's she's the bitch. They're literally killing someone. They they're watching for entertainment. Yeah, yeah that's my pack. <laughs> Ain't gotta tell me. <laughs> Netflix has officially shut down its DVD rental scheme. Yeah, you're still doing that shit. Like what? I, I don't want to say it, but did you know? It, I think it was mostly operating in the third world. Uh, but you can't say the third world anymore. It's, it's like, you know. But there's, I'm sure there's places where it's just running things on USB. Yeah, they just got movies. They movies. just got DVDs. So. <laughs> you know, like, it's the hottest new thing. They yeah. they've actually just upgraded to HD movie. Well, they're not no more because they shined out. <laughs> they shined <laughs> it down this year. They're like, we're sending the last red envelope out, and then that's that. <sighs> so it's like, get online or you're behind. Yeah. Get with the times. You know what I've recently on um, seen with Netflix. They've got four ninety nine accounts, mm-hmm. and on those accounts you get ads. Mm. And then there's the six ninety nine, and yeah, they're just going to do whatever to make money because they're suffering right now. I heard. Yeah, needed an increase of subscribers mm-hmm. every month or every quarter to justify. Yeah. Yes, um, yeah, they're just. Um, I don't know, actually. You see when companies have so specific agendas in the stuff that they put out, um, but yeah. where that garnishes their profits, it seems like they don't care. They more care about their agenda. Yeah. <laughs> because truth be told, that's all that matters. Like the walls are crumbling in, but they're like, yeah. nope, we're producing the things that we want to produce, and not everyone's a fan, clearly, because they're definitely pushed the fringes for years and years now. Like That's why I don't watch them. Yeah. To, to me, it seems like... They corrupt everything. Yeah. Everything's been infected, corrupted, and mm. you can't... There's no way of undoing it. Yeah. It's a shame. I mean, so if they fail, someone else will just come take the place, so... Yeah. Try again. I don't think he was on... I don't think he was on... Um, there was 360s at the time. So, with him, it was... Um, Two albums, you're a free agent, or you can, you can negotiate, or you know you can exit the the contract. Mm-hmm. So he, I think he staged some kind of gathering show thing, okay. recorded it, sent in a 20 minute video documented video file mm-hmm. with music, and yeah, that was it. That was it. That's his album. Got out of there, and he's yeah. been quietly enjoying. Um, Enjoying his money and enjoying the free freelance work. Well, he's been called a criminal now, so. <laughs> um, I don't, I'm not familiar with Frank Ocean. That, like, kind of a couple of songs. Uh, yeah. For radio or someone else playing it. Um, from what I've heard, people are pissed because at Coachella he's performed and it was like a mess. But not just a mess, like, he will, like, press play on the track or the track's playing and he'll just apparently walk around the stage like. <laughs> to the music, just listening to the music with these people like it's a listening party. Like this music ain't been out for years. And like apparently it was supposed to he had an ice skate rink built yeah. in Coachella in the desert for the show and then an hour before he's like, No, don't like it. So they've had to melt the ice. Oh my god. Then he's gone on stage and performed still and he's supposed to have ice dancers like ice skating on the rink. But now they've got their shit on and there's no ice. So now they're just flailing. 
Um, you know, he said he's got a broken ankle or some shit. He's <laughs> everyone's accusing him of making that up. Yeah. You say he got paid four, no, eight million for these performances. Um, mainly because the way he markets his music is he plays recluse, yeah. puts out an album every four, four, five years. Not because it takes him that long to make, but because he has this reputation of hating. You should appreciate your fucking fans and <laughs> perform if you're paid eight million to perform. You should for, for then the some sort of sub story or something. He said a sub story about why he was upset or some shit. I don't know. It's just weird. Yeah, you've got to make your alleged reasons up. Yes. So there's Frank Ocean. That's what he's doing. 